what is up with cake and my beautiful people this is that's back with another tutorial and today guys i am gonna show y'all how i made these hello kitty valentine's day berries so stay tuned and i know some of y'all gonna try to skip this video too like girl we don't even care about all that we just want to see how you made hello kitty and we gonna get there i promise you we gonna get there I ain't gonna tell y'all how many minutes before we get there but somebody in the comments might let you know but i ain't gonna tell you because y'all need to watch the video because y'all be asking me questions and i be like i said something about that or like i just be like i definitely went over that but y'all want to skip the goddamn video and then y'all want to ask them questions like and cover it in the video skip to the certain part watch that certain part but don't ask no damn questions down below and you know that you gonna skip the video because you know you missed something but anyways I am using the Chocolate Candy Melt by Wilton. And y'all, this is the confetti one. I made it so loose. It was not on purpose. But I added too much vegetable oil because the method that I use is microwave 30 seconds at a time. And I use just a little bit of vegetable oil just to make sure that um, the chocolate does not burn and also to help with the consistency. But in the event that you do use a little too much vegetable oil and it does become loose and runny like this, of course i would recommend adding more chocolate but in if you don't have more chocolate to add i would just say set it to the side let it cool down let it um harden up just a little bit and it should be more manageable for you to work with at that point and y'all oh my god it's really been two years since i created content and i am so sorry for that for my subscribers i did not mean to leave y'all hanging like that y'all but a lot of life happened, a lot of procrastination happened, and I am super busy outside of creating um, content for content for YouTube. I bake, like that is my full-time job. I bake and I just get so wrapped up in it. I get caught up. Yes, I could create content on that, but sometimes I just be so on go that I don't be having time to pick up that camera, y'all, but I got y'all. I do because I love creating content and I love just, you know, just being creative and showing that and sharing that with y'all too. And, you know, teaching whatever I can teach because this is how I learned. I'm self-taught. But I did try to go to YouTube to see, you know, if there's anything that I didn't know. But I did learn a lot through trial and error. So, you know, I just want to share with you guys, you know, some of my methods and then, you know, just some creative ways to do things. So this is the Hello Kitty mold, y'all, and this is actually a hot chocolate bomb mold. And I got this from Michael's Arts and Craft for about $30. Um, right now, they have it like $30. Uh, well, it's like buy one, get one 50% off of like their Hello Kitty baking supplies. But um, yes, y'all, when I first saw this, I died in that store. I was like, oh my God, I am going to make some strawberries with this mold and then also like i loved hello kitty as a child like i still like her but i loved like i was obsessed with hello kitty as a child so i fell in love and i died three times in that store and i was like oh yes i have to get this mold i have to make some strawberries and i have to record it and also y'all you can make some cake pops with this like and that'll save you a lot of time they like they're not very big but they will be you know it's not a standard size cake pop but you know what i might do a video on that but you can make some hello kitty cake pops with this but yes all i did was fill the mold and the reason why i left out the black uh the eyes and the whiskers is only because it's not indented like the bow and the nose was it's gonna leave that impression once we take it out of the mold and you'll see that a little in a little bit so you know it was just easier for me to wait to do her eyes and her whiskers until that point but um here i'm just sizing the berries just to make sure that it fit i did try to pick the smallest berries in the bunch just so i i just wanted to make sure it's not too big for the mold and before i added that white chocolate to fill in the spaces i did allow that bowl and the nose to set in the freezer only because um you know because th there is detail there we don't want those colors to run together so make sure that it is hardened dry to touch before you fill that mold up with that white chocolate 
and I'm just tapping it around, making sure that, you know, it's spread it all throughout the bottom of the mold. If you miss certain spots, it's okay. Just make sure that you can cover as much as you can with that white chocolate before we put the strawberry in there, just so it can be a nice, even coat and there is no cracks. Oh, y'all in here. Okay, so I didn't, I initially did not want to, like I didn't, it wasn't in my plans to do the ice cream cone berry, but y'all, my mind just, it gets to working once I start doing stuff. So I was like, okay, I want to do like the little ice cream cone berry. So what I did here, this was my white chocolate. What I did was I mixed together blue. It was royal blue, red, and yellow to get a brown color. And then I just mixed that into my white chocolate for that lighter brown. And here, I am double dipping. I don't always dip, double dip my, my berries. Now, I use Ghirardelli. So that's what I like. I really love using Ghirardelli. Wilton is cool too, but I really love Ghirardelli chocolate because it's so thick, like it's rich and you don't really have to double dip it. But if you do, it's very pretty. Like it leaves a very pretty coat and you can, you know, you can get the same effect with Wilton too, but I decided to double dip only because I wanted more of a solid coat. So I, of course, make sure that my berries are chilled before I double dip them. And I'm just here showing you how it looked once I double dipped it. And I lost footage, but I just covered the Hello Kitty strawberry with chocolate. Y'all, this is the part. Look at it. Oh my God. <laughs> Y'all, I yelled in this video. Oh my God. I was so happy. Do y'all see that? If this didn't come out right, the video wouldn't be posted. But y'all, I was so happy to my little happy dance. Yes, girl, you did that. But y'all, I was so happy that it came out right. Like, I wasn't sure like I be I go into projects like well shoot I have a you know I, I'm trying to get the science behind it right but if it don't work out then hey it just don't work out and I did um you know I was messy with it but um I was messy with putting the chocolate into the mold so here I am just cutting off the access and I am doing that very gently y'all it's not as rough as it may look and um here I am filling in her eyes. Like I said, you know, it left that indent. So it was easier for me to fill in her eyes and her whiskers that way. But y'all, she is so cute. I was so happy, y'all. It is so cute. Like, y'all, I really celebrated. Like, I was so happy that she came out right because I really was not sure. But... I kept the faith and I was like, like I said, you know, it's science behind doing this. So I was like, okay, how can I make this work? So yes, it worked, y'all. It worked. And here I'm just doing a little swizzles um, to create the cone look for the strawberry. Just make sure that you keep a steady, sturdy hand and don't go too slow. Because uh, when you go too slow, you will mess up. And if you go too fast, you will mess up. So just find a pace that is comfortable for you. And you're going to see me tap the strawberries down in a second after I add that white, y'all. And the reason why I am doing that is because, as you can see, the um, chocolate melt started to get uh, just a little thick. Like, it started to chill a little bit. So, I had to make sure that, you know, I didn't want it really chunky. So, I tapped it down just to flatten it out a little bit. And make sure that the brown is dry before you add your sprinkles because you don't want that white. I mean, you don't want the sprinkles to attach to the brown. If you do, you know that's cool, but I didn't. So that's why I allowed my brown to completely dry before I added the white and before I added the sprinkles. Which I got from Michael's in Arts and Craft. Michael's Arts and Craft, by the way, also. And y'all, this is just a really good idea for Valentine's Day for little girls and even for adults. Like, you know, as a kid, I've always gotten things from my mom for Valentine's Day. Like my mama always used to give me and my sister things for Valentine's Day. So I think this is just something really cute that you can add for a, a little girl for Valentine's Day or, you know, something fun, something, um, you know, just cute that you can even add for an adult who likes Hello Kitty. But yes, y'all. This is really fun, and I had a lot of fun making this video for y'all, and I really hope that y'all enjoy watching it. And I know that I'm doing those, um, I'm showing those little glitters really fast because I sped the video up, but those all the uh, both of the glitters that I use, I'm not glitter, I'm sorry, sprinkles are from the Sweet Tooth Fairy from 
Michael's Arts and Craft. And y'all, I got that from Walmart. I do not know why I said $10 US because it was not. It was like $5. But yeah, here I am just using some of that white chocolate candy. Oh, no, that's not what I'm doing here. I'm sorry. y'all. So you know how you get that little um, the little skirt under your berries when you dip them and, you know, uh, it, it leaves a little skirt. What I do is I just make sure that my chocolate is at room temperature. Some people like it. Some people don't. Me personally, I don't like it. So I just cut it, cut it off. That's it. I wait until it's room temperature and cut it off. And then here, I just put a little bit of water on my strawberries and add my glitter. And y'all, you know what? I didn't got so many comments about this glitter. Is it edible? Is it not good? The tinker dust and the disco dust. I'm going to make a completely separate video about that. But this right here, y'all, this is tinker dust. This is food grade glitter. So it is fully edible. It is dissolvable. It is glitter that you can eat with no problem. It is not only for fun and decor, but that disco dust in my strawberry, uh, my glitter berries and swizzle, uh, swizzle berry video, that is disco dust. That is for fun and decor. It is not recommended that you eat it, but it's non-toxic. So if you do eat it, you will not die. But yes, y'all, I done got so many little comments about that down below. I'm like, y'all whatever anyways but i just um just to make the the other berries pop look at her y'all she is so cute and she's not that big like i said you know the mold is not that big i have a small hand so it, it fits in the palm of my hand so you can really use it for like ice cubes you can use it for cake pops you can like you can just use it for a lot of sweet treats i feel like it's really cute but um yeah y'all just added glitter to the other berries like you'll see me dust some on the uh, on several of the berries just to add like a pop to it also a box i got from michael's arts and craft too i got the box and the little paper from michael's arts and craft just setting up a little presentation for y'all I, in my opinion, this paper is so expensive to me. I don't use it a lot, so I really don't trip. But for people who do, like, mm -hmm, it's too expensive for me. I'll get a paper shredder or something to fix that stuff up. And if y'all see that my nails, like, look a little dirty, just in case, you know, people be seeing everything. It's because I was coloring fondant. And getting food coloring under your nails is the worst because it is so hard to get out. So don't come for me. I'm not dirty. I'm not dirty. It's just food coloring. But, yes y'all these came out so cute and i was so in love with them look at the cupcake holders i got those from michael's arts and craft too y'all she is so cute and i love this and i really hope that y'all love this video i really enjoyed making it for y'all please like comment subscribe tell a friend and tell a friend hit that notification bell y'all will see a lot more of me so please stay tuned always i appreciate y'all thank you and look at it perfect yes <laughs> thank y'all so much for watching